file chat okay. so now i want to find the x path for this text box so okay. what are the ways is what we are going to see so inspect it and then click on the text box so you will find the html tag for that text box so now i'll open my xpath so right click view xpath so you will get this xpath checker window mm -hmm. so here double forward slash always xpath start with double forward slash and then their tag name their tag name is what input okay input is their tag name then next so we have got 12 matches so what are the 12 matches means if you see in this search uh, in this html section we have a search box if you just give input you can see the 12 matches that are being listed in the entire page one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and then again back to that okay, okay. so these are the 12 matches that are there in this entire web page so that's what so how i can get my specific element means i need to take their properties so these are the properties of that input box so with okay. this i should find so first i'll take this class okay. class is equal to text field so open at the rate class is equal to so the class the class type value name all these things are called as attributes yes okay always these attributes should be started with at the rate symbol okay at the rate and then their attribute name then comma then after that we need to give their value the value for it is what text, text field. field so yeah. that's what i need so that information i need to give equal to comma sorry uh, in the single quote the value for it and then give okay. totally five matches are there so okay. this is not much okay. so if i want to go with some other attribute means i can okay. also go with this type and text okay. or value name so now in case if i want to go with multiple properties yeah we need that, to write and yeah and correct okay. name and equal to username super yes at the rate name equal to name is equal to a single course username username that's it so now it gives perfect match yes. so now instead of and if i give or what will happen anyone, anyone should match so multiple attributes we found correct that's what so my attribute should have other name equal to username or other class equal to text field anything if it's there with the tag name input so then list me that element that's what here yeah. So that's why if I, if I want perfect match, both the attributes should match means I should use and. This is for getting multiple attributes. Okay, uh, getting an element through help of multiple attributes. That's it. So now, this we found. So with help of this one tag, we found the information. Okay, now for me, what I need to do is I need to find the this text box which is matching with this username text. Okay, so usually what in our real time we used to find the elements like this only. Okay, yeah. find the text box matching with this username text. Yeah. Okay, how we need to get for it means so simple. So for that, first I'll go to just a second. Sorry. So first I'll go to this input box. So that is what giving me text box. So my username text, so I'll just go here. From here, I'll just scroll top. That is giving the TD. So from here, can you see? This is matching my username text. So based on this text, I need to come to the same input box. That is what my intention. So first, okay. I'll inspect this username text. That is what this one. Mm -hmm. So this is, uh, if you see, TD V align equal to middle. So the tag starts here and then ends here and then the closure tag is here in between we have some information means that is called as the text here okay so how text can be used with so what is the tag name here it is td so always export start with double forward slash td then open the 
square traces then after that so what we need to do so this is text i told so text is not an attribute it's a kind of a function okay so if you want to get the functions so we have to use text okay and then open and then close yes correct a function yeah super equal to the value of it is username okay that is should be given in simple code now we got our luck we got perfectly one match itself okay okay so we got so from here based on this text only i want this text box that is i will not use this property information of these things okay. okay so to use this thing means how we can do means so simple so this is actually what the td tag and then this is another td tag you can see both the td tags are there in the same alignment okay yeah that means this guy is actually what a younger brother for this guy yes okay so this td tag is a younger brother for this td for this td this guy is a elder brother yes get it so like that so i want to go to the elder brother means what i need to do means okay there are two types of siblings i found finding is there one is go through the younger brother or one go to the elder brother so do go to the younger okay just open a page siblings are of two things two types two types one is elder brother and younger brother go to elder brother okay and find yes otherwise or go to el anger brother and find the element yes correct go to anger brother these are the two things we have yes so if you want to go to the elder brother for that i need to use presiding hyphen sibling then colon colon okay. okay and then i need to find same thing if it is i want to go to the anger brother means anger brother means following okay yeah. following hyphen sibling that's it so this is the tag to get me the information so now what is that i need to do means i need to go to the younger brother so that means following sibling so this guy is a following sibling so i'll give here slash following hyphen sibling yeah. then i need to give colon colon td sorry uh, double colon colon okay it should be double colon colon and then followed by the tag name that's what okay this is what i need to give always okay so if i give td i am getting this perfect match in case instead of td i can also give star star matches with anything so for example this td tag actually what younger brothers actually what multiple younger brothers okay a okay. lot of things are there what will happen means so all the tags will match for me it might be a td or input or div or anything that matches all the matches to perfectly if i go with the tag name td means so perfectly that tag name alone will matches for me that's okay. murli again can we write a td mm, again again i need to write the input tag correct now we came to this so right now i'm pointing to this td tag okay my intention is to get the input tag okay so if i want to come from the parent to the child what i need to do slash input input so the forward slash represents me the child okay okay that's the thing so i'll just copy this i'll go to the fire path i'll paste this i'll select here as x path then i'll paste this so first i'll go with the td okay now if i give so i'll come from the beginning
So only TD text is equal to username again. So what is that it's matching? It's pointing this TD tag, which is matching the username text. Now when I give this following sibling, TD alone. Now can you see, it matches me this text box. My intention is to go to the input box. Yes. So if I want to go to the input box, forward slash input. input. Now can you see, it is matching my input tag. Okay. Again, can we write the attributes inputs uh, square brackets at the right? Hand? Yes. So right now it's actually what multiple input tags are there. It's matching with everything. Means I need to go with the attributes at the rate name equal to username. Username. So then it perfectly matches the the specific input tag which is asking. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. This is what we have to get for the. <laughs> Uh, following sibling. Yes. Same thing for the preceding sibling if you want to go. For example, now for this input box which is matching with the username text. Yes. Okay, that is what I need to go. So for that, how we need to do that? So I'll inspect this input tag. So this is an input at the rate name equal to username. So I will get that. So I send it. Uh, at the rate name, name equal to username. Username. Mm -hmm. So just um, Close in bracket and uh, proceeding with. Correct. So I will come here. So this is my input tag. So where is my username text? It's there here. Mm -hmm. So that means yes. from the input tag, I need to go to the TD. This is what parent. Yes. Then from the parent, I need to go to the sibling, which is the elder brother. Elder brother means which we need to use? Preceding sibling. Yes. Okay, elder brother means preceding sibling. So how I need to go for that from the input tag to the TD? That is, if it's a parent. Okay, so child means we used to use forward slash and then the specific tag name. Correct? Yes. The same thing, if it is actually what I need to go to the parent means, what I need to do from input tag, I need to go to the TD means before the input tag, I need to give the tag name TD, open the square bracket and then close it. This will help me to go to the parent. Okay. Getting understood? Any questions yeah. for anyone? Yeah, I got a little confused here. Anything. So from the input tag, I need to go to the TD. That is the parent, correct? Why it's okay. a parent? Can you see? This yeah, is a TD tag and then it's closed here. So here we have this child. That is the input. Okay. Okay. So that's why for this input tag, the TD is the parent. So first what I did, I return the export to identify the input tag. This you yes. know. Yes. From here, I want to go to the parent means. What I need to do okay. before okay. the input tag, what is there? TD. TD. The same thing here also we need to write. Before the input tag, you need to give TD. Okay. Then the Again, parent, square, bracket. square bracket. If I give, that will get me this TD tag. Here I have one question, Murli. Means uh, only one one tag we should start with only double slash and now suppose td is a parent again input is also tag uh, td is a parent td is a parent and means tag tag always starts with double slash double forward slash is correct again input is also tag uh, that is the first export starts with actually what double forward slash okay remaining then, end of Depending and all based on actually what it's a child. So for example, from the TD tag, if I want to come to the input tag. So mm -hmm. what is the thing we used to give? Right now my output is a TD tag, but mm -hmm. I want the input bits from the TD. If I want to come here, TD slash input building. That is TD for the, the child is what? Input tag. That is forward slash represents the child I told you. Correct? Yes. Now I want the parent. Okay, from the input tag, I want the parent means I need instead of forward slash that should be square bracket. That's the only difference. Okay. Uh -huh. Understood? Instead of forward yeah. slash, I'm giving square brackets. That represents okay. the TD is my output. 
Understood? Yes. Okay. Single slash means it will represent the child. And square bracket, it represents the parent. Parent. That's it. Okay. Okay, now. So, if it's a parent, we need to represent with square brackets. Child, we need to represent with forward slash. Okay, that's it. So, this is to get the parent information. That is the output is what? The TD tag, correct? Yeah. Child info, the same thing. Instead of for square bracket, it should be forward, forward. slash. Yes. So now my output for this one is what? Input. In. That's it. Yeah. Clear now? Yes, yeah, it's clear. This is the difference. So now I'll go inside. Now we'll see a little bit uh, complex. We will try to see. Okay. So right now for me, I need to get. Okay, so this is it. So I want to list out all the information that is there under the task that is this is a task column okay. okay so under the task column what are the informations are there i want to get it that is what i need to do so how to get so i'll inspect this so can you see this is the task call column okay so under this one can you see there is no child like these columns and all Yes, no. Can you see that is deadline, that is customer project task deadline, and then like that it goes on. Then, how come I get actually what these column information? Okay, this is actually what real time scenarios. Okay, okay, this is where you know actually what the real usage of the export. Okay. So, if I come a little bit down, can you see then it's another TR tag. This is a T body. Okay. So okay. this T body is holding that is a TR tag. Okay. This TD TR tag is having my information. That is here we have this TD. The fourth TD is holding my information. So ID is task name cell. Those things it's giving. So one option. So you can see that is the task name cell. Same thing here if I go. Task name cell. Everything actually what it starts with actually what task name cell. This is one five zero. That is actually what one five one. Like that it's going. So one option is what means to go like this. So export right now I cannot write to the same export window because once the page is refreshed, the connection between this page and then this export is lost. Okay. okay. Yeah. So we need to. Yes, we need to open it newly. Okay, okay, the application connection will be lost once the page is refreshed. Yeah. Okay. So now we'll see. So TD task name. Okay, so double forward slash TD at the rate ID equal to task name cell 151. It'll give in a single quote. Okay, so yeah. this is one. So right now for me, perfectly it's matching, but I want to list out all the task name. So that means the only thing is what is the difference coming task name cell that is 150, this is 151. Okay. okay. So task name cell 50, that is this is 51. So what I can do, I can take an information which is starting with task name cell and ID which starts with task name cell. That's what I can do. Instead of this, equal to means what? It's perfect match. Okay. I can give, instead of equal to, I can give before the tag. Okay, so TD open 
before we gave id at the rate id equal to task name cell the value now i will give starts hyphen with and then open and then close the parenthesis so this is the place i am going to give my value that is what at the rate td i am not going to use a perfect match okay the information which is matching with starts with okay so yes task name cell i will take mm -hmm. here is a equal to i need to give comma because equal to means what it's a perfect match i don't want perfect match okay. and element which is starting with actually what the task name cell that is what i need to give okay so td mm -hmm. sorry it's id na id td starts hyphen with at the rate id equal to task name cell can you see 20 matches are there getting so what i did i will type here starts iphone with so what i need to do here means see what it did so before we give double forward slash td is equal td at the rate id equal to sorry task name cell 51 I get now what we did means so td here before this id here so what I told you that is 51 is there now I will remove because this task name cell matches with everything so here instead of equal to I will put comma then before this okay open and then close here before that i'm going to give an information starts hyphen with that's it okay that means give the element okay for the td tag which is matching with the id attribute task name cell okay which is starts with this i starts with this task name cell for the id give me the output for that that is the only thing Clear? Yeah. Yes. That's what. Same thing. Stuff starts with. I can also give contains. Starts with means it always you should start with this value. Okay. okay. Contains. Uh, ah, tell me. No, nothing. Here, okay. Mother. Contains means that name task name cell can be anything. Before this, actually, what in that place it can be anything. Anything will match for me. Yes. Okay. Contains means. Anywhere this information, if it is present for this ID attribute, it will match. So, for example, what I'm trying to say here means before that, if I have actually what uh, 50 task name cell 51, okay, something is there, then also it will match. Start with means always you should start with this one. Contains means anywhere if the information is present, give me the output for that. That is what contains. Okay. Yeah, right now I'll go with starts with. Okay. okay. So, this is the thing. So, I'll take and then I'll keep it in my one of my notepad. So this is the way we can find all the 20 matches here. So we found this. Okay. okay. Now I will go to this task and then I'll find that information. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we'll again come back. We'll see. I'll inspect it. So TD task. Okay. So I'll take this. Double forward slash td at the rate sorry uh, text function equal to task that is giving me one match found okay. okay so right now my intention is what means okay so for this task column what are the informations that are there that i need to get it yes so for that what i can give over here means so here the table is what 
ID is TT table. Okay. Then from there, actually the T body is giving me those things over there in the TD tax, all those things come. So first I'll go with this. Okay. Double forward slash table. Okay. Uh, uh, ID, ID to TT table. I got this entirely. From there, I want to come to this TD tax. So if you okay. see, one, two, three, three T body tags are there for this table. Okay. My intention is what to get the first T body. Okay. Correct? Yes. So I want the first T body. So for that forward slash T body, if I give three matches, but I want the only first one means I can give one. Okay. Now I got the header of that table. Yes. Okay, this is what I want. From there, I need to go to the TR, TD, TD. So, if I want to jump instead of directly giving TR slash TD, instead of that, if I directly want to come to the TD tab, what I can give means directly I can give slash descendant colon colon then TD. Can you see? Right now, all the TD tags information I will get. Okay, understood. All that, but the thing is, here in between, actually, what this TD tax has any TD tax that also will match for me. Mm -hmm. These TD tax also will be a match because mm -hmm. what I'm trying to do means finding the approximate check that is anything, okay, any TD tax that comes under this T body one, okay. it can be a child or a grandchild or a grandchild's grandchild. Anything okay. matches. That is for descendant. Okay. This descendant, I can also replace with just giving double forward slash TD. Okay. That also give me the approximate child. Single okay. forward slash means my perfect child. See, if okay. I give directly single forward slash TD, I will not get any match. Why? Because after the T body, do we have any TD tags? No. No, it's a TR tags only we have. So it should be actually what? TR then forward slash TD. Okay. If I give directly double forward slash TD, everything matches. Clear? Okay. So right now I'll go with the TR TD. So just to give an information only, I gave it descendant that option. Okay. So now we go TR then TD tag. From the TR, then we got TD. So TD tag is matching with 21 matches. Minus what actually what? Task. Correct? Huh? Yes. So, so here text function is equal to task. So now what I'm going to give here means so so to get I want to know the count of this task. Yeah, so that means one, two, three, four. Getting the fourth TD tag is holding my task. Same thing if I go to the second T body. Okay, I'll go to the first TR. Then here, yeah. one, two, three, four. The fourth TD is holding my the task of first information, correct? Yes. If I open the second TR, one, two, three, four. Then again, one, two, three, four. Getting? Yes. That is the fourth thing. So based on this is my logic. Based on this, I can find. So right now, there is another option. I can also give instead of TD of task is tax equal to four. I can give task of four, TD of four. Okay, but the problem is what means Right now, the task column is here. Then again, if they are going to add some more, actually, what columns here? What will happen? Yeah, again, it will change. It again will fail. It, yeah. So I want a generic expert, even if this columns actually what they add new columns or something, also, it should not be changed. The only problem when it can face means fails when instead of task, if they are going to give some other name. Okay. That time, but that happens very rarely. Okay. okay, so now what I will do to get the information of this TD tag, 
so simple if i find the elder brothers i will know actually what what is the count of this getting yes elder brothers 1 2 3 then after the fourth is mine so i can just give forward slash preceding preceding i can sibling colon colon i can give td otherwise i can give start okay anything matches okay now we will find three okay, okay. so now i find three now i will give the information here before this okay this is my entire tag this is my entire tag okay so simple i'm going to give here count of this okay it will give 3 yeah correct okay that is what i'm going to give right now before this i'll just give count sorry sorry now uh, before this sorry before this one i need to give okay here i need to give like this sorry that's my mistake getting yeah yes, the yes. forward slash then i need to give this okay that's what will give me properly count of it is 3 yeah getting so right now for me it is there under which cell 1 2 3 4 yes so now i can give plus 1 now what's what 4 so this is the way i got my information over there it's a fourth tag yes okay this one i'll copy count plus 1 understood na yes so from here we came to this tag understood now for me now i'll go to my specific place so the second t body is holding my information correct huh? so i can go to this place so here again i'll write double forward slash the table is what yeah ta table tag yeah and um, square brackets at the rate id equal to uh, colon tt table yeah i got then forward slash t body oh, yeah. there are three matches so right now for me so this one actually has an attribute yes okay i can go with the attribute also otherwise t body of other it to also i can go yeah other it id is equal to actual it actual tt rows tt rows okay then after that from here i need to go to the tr tag from there actually what i need to get the 1 2 3 fourth call understood so slash tr slash td 280 matches okay in that if i give fourth column is mine 20 matches so but i don't want to give it as four year okay understood right now what i did yeah so from here t body i came to the tr from the tr i need to come to the td in the td i want the fourth one yes that is what this one okay same thing so if i give tr of 1 that means what there are totally multiple tr tags 1 2 3 4 for totally 20 columns are there okay. sorry okay. 20 rows are there okay the first tr if i want tr okay. of 1 in that the fourth cell is what it's giving me the information is task a okay correct that is what i give same thing if i give two it should give me task b mm -hmm. if i give three it should be task d okay yeah. this also option is there but right now i want to get everything okay now this four gives me all the matches now we already got the information this count of this one gives me what number of uh, number of that task. is actually which is the column it is present okay. mine is the fourth column correct yes. now what i will do instead of this four i am going to give the entire information that's it 
Understood? Yeah, got it. You got it? So this is the way actually what we work with real time. Mm -hmm. Here is what actually what really the expert matters. Okay. Apart from expert, you don't have any option to get the help of CSS or something at all. You cannot get this much accurate result over there. Okay. You clear now? Not confused now? Yeah, I need to practice. <laughs> yeah, that's that's for sure. These all things will come as by practicing. So what I'm trying to do here means for you, just trying to help how to start. Okay. Okay, that's what I'm trying to give for you. Okay. Okay, that's the thing. So now we found we know actually what how to get the specific column based on this information. Then after that, if you see um, what can we go? You you have any uh, places that you are finding difficult to find anything? So now if that is the case, you can just let me know. Um. Actually, this is my first project to Marley in Selenium. Okay. Because I never worked pre previously before, but right now they placed me into Selenium project. Okay, cool. So right now, okay, yeah, I'll just will take something. Okay. I'll go to uh, this one, make my trip. That gives a good idea. Make my trip dot com. I'll just go. Okay. I'll go for flight spread hotels. Okay. So I'll just go. I go back to India. Just give something. Okay. Okay, I selected actually what flight plus hotels. Okay, so that's what I did. So I'm just going to give from Bangalore to Goa. I'll just give some date. I'll select search flight plus hotel combos. So now, I want you to get the book together. Okay. okay, that's what we need to get. So the book together, this button is there. Now. That's what we have to get the information. So how to get that? So usually, okay, in real time scenarios, we will not be looking perfectly. I will give this hotel name or the flight name. Based on that, get me the information. Okay, it will not be like that. So always, I want the first element to be clickable okay the first book together to be clickable that's what it will be easy so i'll open the firebug close the old, old x path okay. then i'll go here the first one is what i need the book together I'll close this this book together. This is what I want. Mm -hmm. So, right click, view X path. Yeah. So, the A tag that has book together button. So, I'll try to get this. With this, I'm able to find double forward slash A. Text function is equal to book together. Book together. 11 matches are there, but perfectly I want the per first one. So for that, what I can do, I'll just move over a little bit. Okay. So this entire information will be actually what one, this will be the second one, this will be the third one like that. So okay. I want to find this specific, this parent, this entire information. So that's what I'm going. This div tag, then this div tag, then this div. Can you see? Yes. This div gives me this 
parent information. Okay, so this div will be the entire parent of everything. Can you see? This div. Okay, so this div is the specific information which I am looking. Okay, so listing section. Okay. Double forward slash div at the rate id equal to listing section listing section totally yeah. right now 10 matches will come yeah okay why 10 matches because all the things are matching so in that if i give one again 10 matches so how i can get actually what the first information alone means so simple so for that i need to come from the parent so here this div ng scope can you see this is one, this is the second one like that. So from this div tag, I'll come to this parent. Okay. So what I will do from here, if I want to come to the parent, what I need to do, give here before that, the div. Can you see? Yeah. Now we came to this div. So if you see in the fire path, I'm came to this div. So how many is that? 10 matches are there. If I don't have this div, Before what? It was matching this. Getting? Okay. For this parent is what? The div tag I told you. Correct? Okay. Yeah. So, div give here. Okay? So, if I give like this, this is the parent. It's indicating right now my output is this one. Okay. If I give here forward slash, then what is my output right now? Now we got 10. Now, it's a child. Okay? If I give forward slash, sorry, not forward. If I give forward slash, my output is this div. Yes, child tag. Yeah. Child tag. If I give square brackets, my output will be what? Parent of div. Another yeah, div. that is this div. Yes. That what this div. Can you see? Yeah. So now if I give div of one. No, totally actually what 10 matches are there. Now if you now perfectly one matching node. Okay. That is what matching with this one. Yes. Okay, why right now actually what I got only one match means. So if I come to the HTML tag. Okay, do a great ID listing section is there here. Can you see? So this is the parent so the same thing if i open this div tag here also actually what is this listing section okay right now the parent actually what is this one so all this actually what div class ng scope as this actually what this div tag so this is also one this is also one year so that's why for that before that was not working for me so this is the common parent that one is having these many div tags in that minus this child getting yeah so in this first div what i told you the second div third div the third div is having my information thus book together understood yeah yes Murli. now for me i can come in this way so one from this div tag I can give div, sorry, this div, then again div tag, again from there p tag and then e tag. I can give like that. So that means what I'm trying to say here means, so right now we are here. From there, this div, forward slash div. Okay, so here this div tag actually will have some specific element also so can you see combo section is the id okay the before one is actually what flight section the before one is the hotel so this is a combo section gives me the book together that information i can give at the rate id equal to combo section just a second no matches okay Got it. It's my mistake. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's my mistake. So right now we are there under this this listing section. Okay, that is actually what this this div tag is my output right now. Can you see? Yeah. This div tag. So first I need to come to this child. From there I need to come to this one. So for that first slash div. Okay. Now we are there. My output. If you see the fire path. If we go. Before we are there in the this div now. So that is holding my. So now I need to come to this div. That is the okay. listing section. Slash div. Now I came here. So from there. One, the two, the third, then the fourth. The fourth div is holding my information. Okay. So again slash div at the rate ID equal to combo section combo section getting now yeah. we got perfectly then again from here i can go to this the div this div tag that means i can slash div that is matching me this the second one then again if i go inside the fourth p tag so slash p that is the fourth p is holding my information so there again slash a now i got perfectly two matching nodes right now for me so two are there so what are the two means i'll copy this and then if you check it one is x another one is there in between is yeah, some tags are there. So, but I can just go with the help of this book together. A text function with a property, I can again segregate. Sorry. Book together. Getting? Yeah. Yes. This is one way to get, but it's a very, very, very long X path. Yeah. Okay. So from here again, they will uh, come be section all those. Things. So instead of that, what I will give, this is one. Correct? Yes. That is right now I'm there under the parent level the entire parent level i'm there okay this is where i'm there so from there if i give actually what double forward slash a so all my a tags i will get can you see double forward slash a 14 matches are there in that can you see my book together also is there Okay, now directly I can give my text function is equal to book together. Understood? Yeah, yes, Marla. This is how I can get. This is another option. This is how you should go. That is trying to get a, a possibility expire. Okay. Any questions for you? Normally, I'm good. <laughs> okay. A lot of practice is needed. I can understand your feeling. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So just take different, different types like this. Based on that, if you work, you will get it. Oh, yeah. Okay. You can refer this video. I will forward to you. Okay. Also, I will actually what give you uh, that uh, specific, uh, the next path video, which you can see here. Na? So if you just go to my YouTube, Expat basics to advanced 
by Murli, you can just give. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you give, you can see the first one. Okay. Okay, so this one actually will give you in a very detailed manner how to get the X path from very basics to advanced like event. Okay? okay, so right now what we have seen actually what how to get with columns, tables is a different thing. Okay, you can refer this also for any basic information here. Okay. Okay, na? any yeah. questions for anyone? Yeah, I'm good, Murli. Okay, just uh -huh. go through it in case if you have any questions, you let me know. Yeah, yeah, sure. And um, Murli, those videos, uh, what are the um, topics are you going to cover? Can you show me once? Sure. So you just want to know.